So jumping right in, we're going to be building a layout. Um, and what I mean by a layout is just like a basic, um, if you would imagine, a blog. Um, so the layout would have a body for all of the articles to, to pop up. You would have maybe a sidebar for a couple of links or whatever you want to list on the side. And then a little bit of a, a nav bar where just a basic header would go. But instead of building all that out, I'm just going to be creating the sections. Um, so let's jump straight into it. So if we're building a, a layout, um, let's just say we would start with a layout component. Now I've got a couple of these already pulled in. Um, but don't worry about those too much just yet. Let's just say that those are right now references that we're just going to need um, in the future. So if I was building this out and I wasn't using the slots pattern, I was just using some uh, pure components or just some regular back class based components, I would probably create the layout component like what we have right here. And then I would just go inside of the layout component itself and I would start creating other components of or other pieces of the layout and putting those around possibly using React Router or something like that. However, um, we're going to be taking use of essentially creating our props and passing components into them. So as you might have seen before, let's say the layout had a user um, and you know we, I don't know, had some user um, object up here. You know, and then we had some we had some data inside of that. So this is how you probably seen props being used before, where you would say, okay, well, to the user prop, we want to pass in the user object. But um, what if we could pass an entire component? And this is where some of the components that I've already pulled into the into this um, into this layout page um, where they come into play. So let's say that for our layout, like I said, we want a header and then we're going to want some content to display and then we're yeah we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna want a sidebar alright so what do we put do we put a uh, we want to describe what kind of header so we'd say just a, a basic one and then we would build it out depending on what string is passed in nope what we're going to do is we're just going to write JSX immediately in here and just call out to the header reference that we've done up here um, and so I'm going to go ahead and carry this out to the rest of them. And it looks like it's compiling, or it looks like, not compiling, but it's agreeable. Um, so let's see, go ahead and fill the rest of these out. Oh. Okay. All right, and then let's see, let's pull down our preview, and there you go. So I've already built this stuff out, and I'll explain what it's doing in just a second, but you see that we've got our layout page. Um, nothing is really on the layout page except for we've pulled in a header, we have our body component, and we have our sidebar over here. So if that's working, how did we build out the layout component? So you can see up here in the original page where I was building out that line where we were passing in the components as props. Um, so I passed in the header, content, and sidebar, and then we're pulling those out in the props here. Um, I'm using a I'm using a, a function or a functional component you could say so I'm not going through the trouble of creating a whole class and everything since everything that we're doing is really just presentational um, so we don't need hooks or anything like that um, but passing in header the header prop so I pull it out um, through object destructuring the same thing with the sidebar and the content and then you just throw it directly into a, a JSX block or a JavaScript block what, whatever you not really sure exactly what this would be called, um, but that's it. I mean, that that's all that this is. You can throw JSX directly into here, and then from there. So um, again, to pull up our preview, so you can see that the header is coming from up here. Oh. Let's see. Okay, so that all right so the header is up here the content or the body content the body component is right here and then the sidebar is right there um, so let's see what if we don't want the sidebar anymore let's just go ahead and comment that out and we'll get rid of this to make sure that the comment actually works and then boom it's gone so this is really good and then oh okay cool so let's bring it back done so you can begin to see that we have a little bit of conditional rendering as well um, so let's say I want to come in here and pull this out have a little fun with this if 2 is less than 3 
do that. Else numbers work. Let's see. Ah. There we go. I have to remember my stuff. There. So you have conditional formatting. Now, of course, you know this is a very contrived example, but let's say that you're pulling in data into your layout. Maybe for a specific user, you didn't want the sidebar to show, but for a different user, you did, or maybe even a different type of user using a role-based uh, approach or something like that. Um, you know, per perhaps you wanted to only show the newest content, or, or you wanted to show a completely different type of content component. So you're still passing in. You're still passing in a component, but then inside of here, or inside of the, the component that you're passing the components into, you're then conditionally deciding how to render them and what to pass into them. Um, you can begin to do other things with these as well, but this is the basics just to get started, get off the, uh, off the ground running with the slots pattern. Um, so it might sound like there's a little bit more going on here, but literally all that we're doing is we're calling out a component, in this case, layout, and inside of the props, it could be any prop, um, and then you're just throw you're literally just throwing JSX, um, and, and that's it. In fact, for the body component, let's see what happens if we just throw some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff comes straight in there, so we don't. It doesn't have to be a component. It can just be straight HTML, or technically that's JSX, but just straight HTML. But that's it. Um, so let's go back here to body and just to get right back to a working place. This was a pretty simple example of the React slots pattern. I know we didn't go into too much depth, but I believe that this is enough to get you at least get you started. Um, it's very helpful for writing more modular components, especially if you're writing, say, a component library or something like a layout that's going to be used and reused all over the place. Any posts or articles that I use to try to help me make the video and learn about the about this feature, I'll make sure to leave those down in the description section down below. Also, the code that was featured, I'm going to make sure that it's available in a public GitHub repo on my GitHub profile. I'll have a link, uh, link to that down there as well. If you have any questions, comments, or any ideas for future videos, please let me know down in the comment section. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know about that as well. Um, either way, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next video.